And tonight, so many of us are mourning the 49 lives lost in mass shootings at two New Zealand mosques. The gunman is believed to be a white nationalist. His anti-immigrant and anti-Islamic thoughts displayed in a lengthy manifesto that he published just before the attacks. Well, there's no indication this was anything more than an isolated incident. But as Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo shows us, local mosques aren't taking any chances. The hate has just gotten deeper and deeper. And unfortunately, it's finding its way all the way around the world. Today is all about coming together in dark times. This morning, Muslims, not only in Colorado, but around the world, woke up on our congregational prayer day to mourn 50 brothers and sisters that were senselessly shot and killed as they worshipped in a safe place in New Zealand. In today's time, the Colorado Muslim community here routinely have Arapahoe County Sheriff's deputies on site. It is sad. I think, especially over the past two years, we've had to really reevaluate our security measures here at the mosque. The Sheriff's Department and all police precincts across Colorado are very vigilant today and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. Now, the mosque have the Jewish community on their front steps to mourn with them because of the same thing a synagogue went through in Pittsburgh in October. Look, this tragedy happened a world away, but here we are in Colorado where we can be together. That's because what happens a world away or what happens down the block from us has an impact on each and every one of us. We all are praying and regardless of your faith or spiritual tradition, we appreciate that support and I think we're going to need it for quite a while. Today is all about prayer. In Denver, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.